Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of May 16th, 2019. I'm Christina Reese. I'm Rainy Knudsen. And okay, so May 16th. You've only got a couple more weeks here. I know. I'm stepping down as publisher at the end of the month. Woo! Yeah. Are you still going to do Top 5s? Yeah, perhaps someday if you're ever scraping the bottom of the barrel and you're desperate and you need somebody to step in and do it. <laughs> Number five is a lecture. This is tonight, Thursday, May 16th, 2019. Tonight in Austin at the Harry Ransom Center. We are including this because we just were all so enchanted by this. We all want to go. It's called Composite Landscapes Early Film Special Effects. And this is a look at very early 20th century special effects film techniques that were used, in particular by this guy Norman O. Don and his um, glass shot technique. So if you are a film buff in Austin, if you have any interest in early film special effects and the way that they first started doing this, long before CGI. Um, this is going to be a very interesting lecture tonight at the Harry Ransom Center at 7 p.m. So number four on our list is in Dallas. It is called the Visual Speed Bump Art Tour. It takes place every year at this time. It's this coming Saturday. So it's a it's a studio and art space art tour of, uh, of artist studios and, and, and public spaces around Oak Cliff and a neighborhood they're now calling the West Dallas 10 district, which I think we just kind of think of as like West Dallas or Trinity Groves. Does every neighborhood have to have a, a branded, oh Lord yes, have mercy. real estate. It's usually about between 15 and 25 spaces. I think there are about 20 spaces that are on this tour. Sometimes it's the artists who get together. Sometimes it's a whole studio full of artists. It's from like, uh, it's usually from about noon to six. Often there's a space at the very end where there's kind of a culmination party. Look for that on your map. Um, it's a fun tour. It's kind of a casual, self-guided tour. So number three is at the Grace Museum uh, in Abilene. I saw this show a couple of weeks ago. It's called Jamaica Botanical. It is a suite of photographs by William Eggleston, uh, shot in 1978 in Jamaica. It's exactly what it sounds like. The flora of Jamaica, primarily a little bit of architecture. The curator, Judy Tedford Deaton, uh, walked me through it and kind of explained how they came to have this uh, collection of Egglestons, which is a slightly, it's kind of a mystery story about a businessman who managed to get certain uh, collections into certain museums all over the U.S. But she came across this collection and decided to mount a show of it. I think it looks great. It's a surprise. It's a lot of the days are overcast in these photographs, so there's something a little bit kind of melancholy about them. Eggleston, of course, is wonderful and you know, this is its just another sort of, he's prolific. So this is just another one of these sets of things that he's done because he, he's still taking pictures. And number two this week is Misty Kiesler. The show is Lowlands at the Public Trust in Dallas. It opens this Saturday night. I was so excited to see this because um, apparently it's an older body of work of hers. I'm so familiar with her, with her Haunt series that, of course, was featured at the Fort Worth Modern of um, Haunted Houses. But this series is all shots from the Las Vegas Strip. And apparently there are brand new uh, portraits that she just shot like in the last couple of weeks in this show. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, Misty Kiesler, I don't know that she ever completely puts a project to bed. I, You know, maybe the Love Hotels, maybe she's not working on that anymore. But she tends to kind of dip back into subject matter that she started. This started in 2014. I mean, let's face it, she's a great photographer. She's based in Dallas. She has incredibly compelling series that are ongoing. And this is one that I actually have not seen before in person. So I'm looking forward to it. And number one this week is a twofer in Houston. This is actually two separate events that are both about short films, and we thought they both merited inclusion. The first is called Black Radical Imagination Fugitive Trajectories. This is at Project Row Houses. It's on Friday evening. This is a series that's been going on since 2013. This year, it was curated by two L.A.-based film curators, um, Janelle Brown and Daryl Oluke. And the theme this year of, of Fugitive Trajectories is their theme, and it's really about um, the African diaspora getting beyond narratives uh, that reinforce traumatic histories or the troubling present, and how uh, can we begin to imagine Black life beyond, as they call it, the structuring modalities of resistance and survival. So I think this is going to be really interesting, and they're all short films, so um, it should be great. And then the second short video uh, program in Houston is is the Extremely Shorts Film Festival at Aurora, which has been going on 22 years. Mm -hmm. All of these are under three minutes, 
And um, it's always a lot of fun. So um, Aurora is going on Saturday night. So you could go to Project Aurora Houses Friday night, Aurora Saturday night, and be filled with short film awesomeness this weekend in Houston. The good thing about short films is that if you know they're short and you start one and it's terrible, you just, it's fine. Cause Hang in there. 